Hey everybody, Midnight Napsol. Welcome back to Pokemon Renegade Platinum. All right. After a little bit of break to show off some other things, we're back here with we're back here with the, we're back here to be a renegade and go and go the way and go the other way that the game tells us not to go. Why? Well, we can't. We can't because if you remember from last time, we can't do that. Last we did well, we did beat Fantina last time and the berry fight that comes immediately after it. We can't go down Route 208 because we have to go to, go to the Pokemon Mansion because Team Galactic took out has taken over the place. So, we need to go this way now. I will be going over the encounter Route 208 after we clear out this area first. So, welcome to Route 2 212. We get to be here right here and now. And as you can see, there are Team Galactic runs around. So, with that, so since we're here on Route 212, you might be curious. Can we encounter wild Pokemon on this part of the route? Where we have to go? Answer is yes, you can. And since we're here, since we're here and we got some trainer battles to go over, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna start doing that right now. So starting th starting things off with new, starting things off with new Pokemon with new Pokemon we can run into Meryl. If you didn't pick the, if you didn't pick this thing up earlier and you need a good water type, it, Meryl could be your Meryl could be your could be the one that you should go with. Get, it, just make sure you get huge power because just make sure you get huge power. Play rough is in the game, so that it, so Azumarill will get the benefit from that. And with huge power and its fairy typing, this thing can wreck can wreck through some teams, especially these Team Galactic grunts who like to use stuff like like to use dark types. Just watch out for poison types and any and a fast electric and anything with and anything that's fast with a super effective move because Azumarill's not the fastest thing in the world. But but hey, maybe Belly Drum and Aqua Jet can do the job for you in those situations. So. Yeah, Meryl is here, and it's pretty good. Moving on to the next new Pokemon that we can... The next new Pokemon we can run into. I say next new Pokemon we can run into. They're technically Pokemon we've already seen before, but we're going over them again because we can now run into them. Because we can run into their evolved forms now. That, those two being Weaving Bell and Gloom. Nothing too interesting to mention with these... Nothing too interesting to mention with these two. The, we've, already gone, we've already gone over them once before. I've already gone over them once before, but just to it reiterate, these two these two Pokemon are good are fairly competent. They're fairly competent grass types, and you can do and you can definitely put do some you can definitely do some damage with these things. So they just are better grass types though, to be honest. I mean we have we've had access to all three all of the grass type starters for quite a while now. And all of them are and all of them are pretty good. And all those Pokemon are pretty good in their own right for for handling things. Plus, plus we've had access to things like Rose Raid, like Rose Raid, Rose Raid, and Rosalia. In fact, Rosalia is in this is in this area by is in this area itself. And if you if you catch it at the right level, Rosalia will already have Giga Drain. So then you can just chuck a shiny stone on it and evolve it immediately if you wanted to. They're good. Oh, again, Weaver and Gloom are not bad grass types. It's just they're over. They're just kind of overclassed. And and that's and the only and that's actually it for new Pokemon here. All the Pokemon that all the other Pokemon here, all the other Pokemon here are Pokemon we've already run into at one point or another. So we've already seen Star Staraid has been available for a while. Surrey has been available. We've seen Roselia is here, like I mentioned just a second ago. Curly is here if you didn't. Curly's here if you didn't pick one up already. Smeargle is here, who we saw in the previous, who we saw in the route coming into Hard Home City, and Farfetch. We and we've already seen Farfetch, who is available via the Poker Radar. So no, so nothing new there. So nothing new on that front. And also there were some honey trees here, and we have already seen all the Pokemon you can catch from there, which. Which I'll list off Rapid Fire, Cherubi, Shroomish, Execute, Nuzleaf, and Tangela are all available in the honey tree here. Aside from that, that's it. Aside from that, that's it for new for Pokemon on Route 212. Or at least on the northern half of Route 212. There is the southern half of Route 212. However, we however we're just to, as a warning, you won't be get you won't be getting to that place anytime soon. We'll be going there anytime soon, so yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, destroy that. 
going to destroy the Pokemon with the most epic cry of all time. And level 38 for Vincent. He is getting very, very high up in the levels. Alright, uh, now I need to... I'm going to put Steven in the lead, actually, and I'll have to throw a revive my mirror at some point. Uh, okay, that item back there, the item that, one of those items we can't get because it's on, we have to get Surf. And, whoops, I hit the wrong one. There we go, much better. I accidentally hit the button to change the position of the screen, so, don't, so something looks off for a split second. Yeah, I just hit the wrong button. Anyway. Anyway, uh, can I get back there? Yes, I can. The country that Norway blocks you from getting over here is gone, so we can pick up this item. Which is... TM11 Sunny Day. Good if, good if you got things like... Good if you got things like Cherubi, or anything that can use... Or anything that can use Solar Beam, or if you're going for a Fire Team. Anyway, I feel like there's an item over here, but I'm not sure. But yeah, here's the grass for Route 212, for the Norway Route 212. And, as you can, and if you saw briefly down there in the bottom left hand corner of the top screen, there are people blocking the way, so we cannot go set further south from here. And uh, let's get away from the gloom. Yeah, as you can see, these people are blocking the way, so we cannot go this way. There's an, also a free elixir behind this sign. And hi, gloom. Alright. Alright. Alright, let's get rid of it. Let's go away. Get away from that. Ah, oh, come on. Alright. Alright, do that again. Get rid of you. And let's go. We now have a double battle here. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. This is the Pokemon Mansion. This is our this is the key to our victory. Path, the path to our success. The source of our salaries. Be gone, intruder! And with, and, with, and with some flash like that, here comes a here comes a here comes a very interesting double battle. Soul Rock and Lunatone. All right. Uh, nothing nothing too interesting about this fight, but it's but it is a Soul Rock and Lunatone, so I thought I'd just mention that. Anyway, not skipping through this fight. I you know what? In this case, you know what? Since we since there is something I'm further along Route 208 that I want to do that I want to show off in, in this episode, well, while we're doing this fight, while we're doing this fight and some upcoming fights, I'll quickly go over the encounters and the encounters that we can do the encounters you can get in Route 208, which actually, which surprisingly enough, there is that surprisingly enough there are no new encounter no new encounters on Route 208 that we can that we can. No new encounters on Route 208 that we can have access to at the moment. All the, all the Pokemon on Route 208 are Pokemon we have already seen, and the ones that are all, and the ones that are new that you could catch are things that we cannot get because we do not have Surf or the old or the good and suit or the Super Rod. So, anyways, with that sign, Pokemon that you can run into with the following po the following Pokemon are all the Pokemon you can encounter in the grass on Route 208. Which surprisingly are actually lower level than the Pokemon here, which are lower level than the Pokemon here on Route 212. Anyway, the Pokemon that you can find on Route 208 are as follows: Barbaral, Rose Rain, Skitty, Jigglypuff, Curlian, Zangoose, the Viper, and Smeargle. And Dunspar Dunsparce is available via, via the Poker Radar. And if you and at the moment we do not have access to the Honey Trees. But if you, but once, but once we do have access to each to the honey trees, Jeruby, Shroomus, Execute, Seedot, and Tangler are over there. Anyway, with that, anyway, with that explained, with that explained, let's finish these two off. They, both of them have a Soul Rock and a Lunatone, and just get, and are just getting absolutely destroyed. Ouch. Well, oh, that, that sucks. Take that, Lunatone. Alright. Uh, Bear Day, I guess you're up. Uh, 
right, Iron Head, and let's do Seed Bomb, and then I'll do, do, do some reviving of Pokemon. All right, there you go. Let's let's just finish this off. All right. Also, they do some sun. Oh shoot, they actually missed it. They these two do a sun, do a sun and moon quote, like the sun is setting or the moon is waning, and the moon is waning, I believe. Let's can tell. We must tell Commander Saturn that we have an intruder in our midst. Commander Saturn, huh? Yo, Seamus! These Galactic Goons are easy, I'm cleaning their clogs, cleaning out their clogs. You dealt with the guards at the Mansion Gate? Awesome! Now let's move, no time to waste! Yep, Barry's actually, Barry's actually here and he's actually going to help us, and he's actually willing to help us. Also, also TM20 Safeguard right here, and I believe on one of these, which one is it? It's... it's Where does an item on one of these things? There it is, pearl. Pearl, it's on this one. There's a pearl right there. And I think back here? No, never mind. I swear there was an item there too. All right, well, anyways. Uh, item, oh wait, I can't buy, oh wait, crap, I forgot to check. All right. Quick cut, be right back, I'm gonna go see if I can buy revives, and also heal, so be right back. Yes! We can- Now, with three gym bat- Now that we have three gym badges, we can finally buy revives! Alright, uh, super potion- Let's buy some more super potions for this section. I wouldn't- I wouldn't buy- I wouldn't buy a cra- I wouldn't buy a crap ton of- a crap ton of fishing of, of super potions, but buy an, but buy enough just to get through the area that we're going through. And then super, super, and we can also buy super repels now, so I'm gonna buy a couple as well. Is there anything else here? Uh, nest ball. No, I don't need anything there. Anyway, now I'm gonna heal, and I'll meet you back back, back in front of the mansion. All right, back in, back in front of the mansion with revives and some super potions. Let's do this. Went in. All right. So in the mansion, we need you need to in the mansion. So in the mansion to the right, this is the maid room. The maid room has a, in the maid room. The maid in this room has a weird egg. It's blue with with some strange red core. It's totally disturbing. Pokemon eggs on my TV yellow. A blue egg, huh? Interesting. Alright, skunky. Alright. Iron hand. Wait, you're faster than me. Can you handle this, please? Okay, so apparently Ghost does not Dark does not resist Ghost in this. Or at least on Mirror, it doesn't resist. I'm trying to figure out what the heck happened with his typing. Alright. Mendonat, die. Go down. Well, that works. I 
All right, and one more Thunder Fang to finish this thing. And Hawthor's level 30 now. Payback. Not gonna learn. Not gonna learn that because that is not a good move for a Gengar to have. We're gonna lose and have to look at the weird egg. All right. And a Clefairy pops out. All right. A Clefairy popped out and ended up over here. Let's talk to this guy. The trophy garden in the back is chock full of rare Pokemon. We can sell them for a high price and fund our research. You want to go through? No chance. I'm not moving an inch. Even if I get surrounded by five dangerous looking Clefairy. Five dangerous looking Clefairy, huh? Well, one Clefairy is already there. What? Let's go in here. You look in here. This is this. We have this room. Trainer, thank you for defeating the awful man just outside this room. Uh, you must show yourself that this precious egg was taken by them. All right. We go over here. We have a luxury ball, which we cannot buy yet. Over on this side, we have Team 87 Swagger, which is normally here. Which is actually normally here. We have the statue here, a very expensive looking statue. We got fingerprints on it. You normally you can never check the statue. Normally you can never check the statue because the guard stops you. It's a very expensive looking. It's a very expensive looking book, book on Pokemon. Would you like to read it? Manaphy, an extremely rare Pokemon that has never been seen, let alone captured, in Sinnoh. However, some say Manaphy will appear in the form of a blue egg. One such egg has rumored been, rumored been found by Mr. Backlot, the owner of the Pokemon Mansion and Trophy Garden. Information on Manaphy was added to the Pokedex. Blue egg, huh? And Mr. Backlot owns it. You can probably figure out what's going on. He, what's going on with that one? Over to the right, win in exactly six turns? No, no way, watch me. I'll win in one turn. Who's got time for six? Yeah, remember remember what you're supposed to do when you come here? Yeah. We'll pro we may have to we'll have to do something similar to that. Uh let's move guys up here. Let's move that. Heal up Steven a bit. Actually, you know what? I'll just, you know what? Just so I can make sure I can get through these fights easily enough, I'm gonna put Vincent in and just destroy everything. You wish to see the lady at the house? Too bad, she's busy. And I'm, and I think for these fights, I'm gonna speed these up because most of these guys only have one Pokemon and they're very easy to kill. It's gonna lead a Murkrow and the lady must be ready. All right. Yeah. A Hapini pops out. If you talk to her, the fair lady does not enjoy this horrible stress. I get locked in here by some awful people with a bad fashion sense. And my Hapini decided to decides to run off somewhere when we're when we're free. What am I to do? Check the by the way, check the trash can. Here's a protein. If you check the also if you check the bed, you get our you can you can heal here anytime you need to. So that way you don't need to run back to the Pokemon Center if you run out of Helion items or anything. Now this guy. What's that? You wanted a net? I'll give you one. Permanently. Alright, Krogunk. Krogunk, this is easy. This one's an easy one. Flamethrower, flamethrower, flame and you'll be dead. And you're gone. Don't worry, by the way, about me overleveling Vincent. I'll be able to fix the overleveling thing very soon, actually. Anyway, Butterfree. This guy actually has more than one Pokemon. Alright, so Viper. Again, 
Vincent is just so overleveled because I had to overlevel him so I could beat the so I could beat Fantina within within the next within this year. Alright. And down goes this Gronk who fell asleep. And a Clefairy pops out of this room. Now we're here, we have this woman. You rejected that... You rejected that oddly dressed person, oddly dressed girl that was in front of the door? That's a relief. Oh, if you want some relief as well, you can just rest here in the bed. Take the puff. Also, checking the trash, this trash can has nothing, by the way. Anyway, next room. You want you want to play, little kid? I'll show you how. I'll show you to not mess up with us. All right. All right. Let's see what you got. Two Pokemon, a B drill. Take out. Take out and flamethrower. Flamethrower hopefully will kill. Come on. Pontus now level 31. Nice. Ever closer to, to a Gengar. Ah, you're strong. I'm so I'm sorry, Commander Saturn. And another Clefairy. Now in here, we have this per- Ah, thank you. That goon was blocking the door. I didn't know if I'd ever leave. Actually, my Clefairy ran off. Do you know where it went? Uh, nothing in this trash can. Now, I reckon- Now, I would recommend healing. I would recommend healing, and then before you do- Before you talk to this last guy. You'll see why. You're not allowed through here. Unless you can beat the three of us in a row in exactly six turns. Blah! Are you up to the challenge? Keep in mind, keep in mind, he said in exactly six turns. Not, not in six turns, exactly six turns. Yes. Blah! Very well then. Again, you need to beat the three of us in exactly six turns. No more, no less. He emphasizes the point right here. Emphasizes the point that you need that it, it's six turns exact. Ninkata. Firstly, here's what I recommend doing: try and beat the try and beat the first two as fast as you can, and try and beat the first try and beat. Because I think I remember what these guys have. I think each one of them has a form of the Ninkata line. This guy's got a Ninkata. The next guy. The next guy has, I think, a ninja. Last guy's got a, and the last guy, and the last guy, I think, has a Shininja. I think. Let's see. What do you have? You have one Pokemon, and you have a ninja. Okay, so the last guy's got Shininja. So make sure. So I guess also before you go into this fight, make sure you have something that can hit, that can hit a ghost or a ghost and bug type. Otherwise, you base. Otherwise, you automatically lose. Anyway. His ninja ask, anyway, his ninja is fine, he just went for aerial ace, it didn't do a lot, so flamethrower to finish him off. Alright. He survived on, he's, also this grunt's got a stir, I forgot, this grunt's got bad. Alright. Aerial Ace again. So you want- Alright. So this Grunt's got a has, a- has a Focus Sash. So now we're on three turns. So I think that makes us- puts us on three. Right? Let's see. 
You've had you've had three turns. You still still think you can do it? So I have three turns to beat the final Pokemon. I have to beat the final Pokemon in the next three turns. Shininja. I am pretty confident this thing this thing has got I think this thing's got protect and a focus sash. Shadow Claw. Critical hit. Yep, it did have a focus sash. That's correct. Mind reader? Okay. I have to stall one turn. So I'm going to use a super potion and stall the one turn that I need. I hope if you have protect, I swear. Shadow Sneak. Okay. And now I go for Flamethrower. To finish it off in six turns. And that is it. All three of us. It took you six turns and all. Oh, hey, nice job, kiddo. You met the requirement, all right? But who said we keep promises? <laughs> the Clefairy pops out of the room. Shoot, the space Pokemon escaped, but you're still not allowed through. And he blocks the door again. All right, so now that that's done, if we go, if we look over here. Yeah. Also, by the way, before you talk to those Pokemon, I highly recommend you freaking heal. Trust me, you probably, trust me, you should probably do this. Even if you're not very hurt, just heal because you, because the next fight is, the next thing you gotta do is interesting. You'll see why in a minute. Also, also I, also I would recommend going with something that can do, that can also actually no never mind I, no, a specific Pokemon isn't gonna really help you here I think so anyways let's get let's get on with it. A peony. A peony seem to be giving instructions to the Clefairy. A peony wagged its finger. The Clefairy used. The Clefairy used Metronome. The Clefairy used Teleport. Yep. The Hapini held something out to you. And we get the Lucky Egg. Yep. You get a free Lucky Egg for this. So now you might be wondering, well, what next? Well... Jamus! Ew, I thought that wouldn't I thought that wouldn't would never end. Even the turn limits is hard. So if we beating all the goons or are there still more? Hmm? Who are you children? Where are the grunts I left? Come along, Mr. Backwad. Yes, yes, I suppose I must. Ah, my poor Pokemon mansion. You! I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Anything that continues to oppose the Team Galactic must be crushed. Come on, Mr. Backlot. You'll help me eject these children from your home, yes? I, I pre would prefer not, but I suppose I must. The poor beautiful Pokemon used for such boorish tasks. Okay, Shannon's no problem. Okay, Shannon's no problem. Let's team up and win this. We can just heal the old man's Pokemon afterwards. Don't worry about him. Yep. Here we go. We get to meet Command. We get to fight Commander Saturn right now, and we get to fight Gentleman Back, Mr. Backlot himself here. They lead they're gonna lead off with a bronze. They're gonna lead off with Commander Saturn's gonna lead off with a bronze on level 33, holding leftovers, level two for its ability. So don't use a ground move. So with Hypnosis, Gyro Ball, Zen Headbutt, and Confuse Ray. Whereas Mr. Backlot will lead off with a Wigglytuff, normal, normal fairy type, holding Zoom Lens, holding a Zoom Lens. So if it goes last, it'll, so if it goes last, it'll deal more damage. 
it'll if it goes less, it'll have more accuracy. And you'll see why, because it's got cute temperance ability with Moon Class, Hyper Voice, Sing, and and Thunderbolt. What I recommend doing here is take whatever I recommend doing is shutting down that Wiggly Tough fast. Because with that zoom lens, its sing is going to be a lot more accurate, and it could potentially put half of your half of your team or half of your team or Barry's team to sleep. So I would recommend shutting that thing down as fast as you can. The Bronze Dog has hypnosis. The Bronze Dog will have hypnosis, but that is the least of your concern. Take that Wiggly Tough out before it can get a chance to put you to sleep. Damn it, Barry, that is not helping. Thunderbolt. Double teams didn't even matter. You just got. You're, you're gonna get destroyed now. Barry, you. Barry, you freaking idiot. Also, Barry is going to have the same team that you fought. That you fought. That you fought him. That he fought you with earlier. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm gonna take out that Wiggly Tough before he gets a chance to do anything. Before he gets a chance to do anything else. Alright, down it goes. Down it goes. We got Vincent level 39. He is so over level. Break break on break break on the bronze on for Barry. Doesn't do a lot. And Zen Headbutt, this is gonna hurt whoever he hits, and he hits me. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Oh a crit. Okay. Now it's now it's personal. Now it's on. Now it's on, asshole. <laughs> Come on. It's on now, Saturn. What? Okay. Mr. Backlot. As an Espeon. Level 33, pure psychic. Level 33, pure psychic type with, with the mood with only a citrus berry. With synchronized words of the least, so don't try and status this thing. And it's got psychic. Power Gem, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. So I would recommend going for the Espeon immediately. Because it'll do that. It'll either do that, it'll either do that, or it'll do Dazzling Gleam, because Barry, half of Barry's team is going to be weak to... Half of Barry's team, depending on what you select, what you pick for your starter, could be... Could be weak, could be weak to... Could be weak to Psychic or Fairy. And you definitely don't want that in this fight. But... Another thing is, another type thing you could do is just take out all of Mr. Backlog's Pokemon first, so that way it's a two-on-one against Saturn specifically. Because this Bronzong isn't very, this Bronzong isn't the most threatening thing in the world. I mean, granted he got a crit and took out Vincent, but it was a crit, so I'm not counting that. I'm not gonna count that on, count that as me as Vincent sucking or Saturn very strong because. Is Hong Song doesn't have the best attack. His only two moves are steel and fighting, so you could potentially wall him. And as annoying as confusion and hypnosis are, you should be you should have act you should be able to just handle it, because you should have a decent sized team at this point. Anyway, his anyway, Mr. Backlot's final Pokemon. Mr. Backlot's final Pokemon is a Raichu level 33 holding wise glasses to boost his special attack. Boost, any special moves it does with static, with static, with static crit's ability, with fake out, thunderbolt, grass on, and teeter dance. That teeter dance can be very pretty annoying, so watch out. Uh oh, and down goes ba down goes Barry's hair across. Or par mirrors paralyzed, but it could be the could be worse. Here comes Barry Snorlax. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna try and finish the Raichu off, assuming Barry doesn't target him. Alright, Confuse Ray on... Me? Yeah, it was me. Fox Slide. Alright. Ah, oh, that right you still alive. And Mirror hits himself. Very Snorlax also has leftovers still, so that Snorlax is very unlikely to die. Alright, I'm gonna go for bite. I 
Oh, he withdrew his bronze arm. Okay. Okay. Well, here's the here's here's Saturn's a here's Saturn's A's. His Toxicroak is level 34. Poison poison fighting type. With only a muscle band. Try skin for its ability. So if you have a fire move, use it on use it on his Toxicroak. That or just use a quad effective psychic. Anyways. So, anyways, that aside, his Toxicroak has got Drain Punch, Poison Jab, Fake Out, and Vacuum Wave. Why Vacuum Wave? Why Vacuum Wave? Well, Toxicroak can't learn Mach Punch in any game. So, yeah, so that's the only priority. That, aside from that, Sucker Punch is its only other priority move it would have. Anyway, since now, now since Mr. Backlog, anyway, Mr. Backlog is out, all of his Poke, he only had three, these two only, both only had three Pokemon, so. Once, so if you can take out, so you should probably take out Mr. Backlot, so that way you can just completely wail on Saturn. I'm gonna go for Drain Punch on the Snorlax, which is a bad thing. That Snorlax is beefy as hell. Ouch. Primplup. This will, this Primplup would be, this, you, by the way, he would not have, you would not have this print club if you picked a different starter, by the way. Also, if you hit start, if you hit start, you can see your eight, your HP and your uh, and your and your partner's HP at any point. Yeah. I'm gonna go for fire. I healed up Vincent. I'm just gonna go for fire fang and see what happens and see if I can do anything. But I won't because well, I'm doing much. Yep. Luckily, Vincent is alive again, so I'll be able to. So I'll be. I'll be able to absolutely destroy this toxic curve. And that makes me win health because they can slow it down. Because that'll slow it down a little bit. Making it more likely I'm gonna have to be the thing and destroy it. Let's do this. First, let's go for the fake out because why not? No, don't. Okay, Barry's actually being smart here. He's not using a water move on this thing. You know. He knows this thing does. He knows that this thing ha has dry skin, so that's good. Smart AI, smart AI here, and flamethrower. There we go. Hunter level 32 now, and Barry's got skulls, so that could've been bad if he had used that earlier. Anyway, artillery. Saturn's Artillery level, is level 33, holding, pure water type holding wise glasses. Selection cuts for its ability with Octazooka, Single Beam, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower. A weird move set, but this ain't a weird move set, but this thing, but again, it's Artillery. Artillery is a weird Pokemon in general. I mean, have you seen it? Have you seen its game hit animation in the in the in the GameCube games? Jeez, it looks like it's tripping out. Anyways, down goes the artillery. We're down to one. Back to back to his bronze on. Back to his bronze on. You already know what it has. You already know what it has. We just it doesn't it does not have a heat proof. So I'm gonna flame throw this thing into oblivion. And it's down. See how much easier that is once you take out once when you're not fighting two out of one. Man, you kids are tough. Ah, my poor, poor Pokemon. And we get a hell of a lot of money for that. Ah, what makes you so tough? Not to mention this old man is completely useless. Fine, we'll leave. We've bar we've, we've bargained with this old man for the riches we needed. Next time you won't be so lucky. There she is, all sorted. Now it's time to dash. Mata Salathion down. See ya. You'll be shocked by my growth. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. Friend of yours takes off very quickly, doesn't he? Thank you for the coming to the aid of, the, of my Pokemon Mansion. The Team Galactic people wanted some of my most valuable objects. With their threats against my lovely staff and the people of this mansion, I had no choice but to cooperate. Alas, I'm sure things will mostly return to normal now. There's one particular valuable item that was not taken by them. It's an unusually, it's an, it's an unusual blue, deep blue Pokemon egg. Looking straight into, looking straight, Looking at it, it's like looking straight into the sea. 
I mention this to I mention this because I'd like you to have it as your reward for your bold actions and bravery today. Please come to my office when you're when you're please come to my office on the right when you're ready. Oh, and please do visit the trophy garden in the back. The wall pung one there are simply exquisite. And and I'm not and to quickly go over the Pokemon that you can find back and you, I, I'll quickly go over the Pokemon you can find in Mr. Backlot's Mr. Backlot's trophy garden here for you. So the Pokemon that you can find in, mis, in Mr. Backlot's Pokemon Mr. Back in the trophy garden are as follows: Pichu, Pikachu, Cleffa, Iglybuff, Togepi, Porygon, Hapini, and Eevee. If you wanted to get more, if you wanted to get more, if you wanted to get, if you were, uh, if the evolution that you picked was disappointing you, don't, you don't need to worry now because now you can catch Eve, now you can catch Eve, more Eevees at any time you want. And also that egg that Mr. Backlaw mentioned is pretty interesting as well. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut away and come back so we can pick up said egg. That, and there's also one thing I want to show on Route 208 before, oh shoot. Uh, that's right. We have the. There are some. These trainers are now here now that the Team Galactic thing's over. So I'm just gonna cut this out. So I'll just. So any fights that we have to deal with, I'll just cut them out. I'll just speed through and cut them out. So, cause, so you don't. Because you don't need to see that. One thing to mention though is that if you ever need money, if you ever need money, get the amulet coin and the. Ver get the amulet coin because you have the versus seeker. Get the amulet coin and then just keep rematching these two. These two socialites right here because they give a crap ton of money. And if they give a crap ton of money, and you'll be able to easily, and you can easily, you should easily be able to beat them now. Okay, back in Mr. Ba back in the mansion now. I put Miru in the PC for the. I put Miru in the PC. I believe that's yeah, it's this one. As per my master's wishes, we shall bequeath this egg to you, trainer. And we received the egg. Please keep, take good care of that egg. Master worked extremely hard to locate it. It's truly one of a kind. I must return to my duties. I bid you adieu. Now, we talk to... Oh, this is the butler. Ma Master is truly a wonderful and generous person. It's on his orders to... It's on his orders that the garden... That the garden, his prize is open to all. Even trainers. Oh, my lovely assistant beside me has been taking care of that egg I mentioned. Which is picked up if you wish to receive it. Alright, and I'll just say the same thing. Do you say anything different now that I leave and remove? No, you probably don't. Anyway, we've picked up the egg, which actually has a unique icon. If we look at it. If we look at it. Sounds can be heard from here. We'll hatch soon. A mysterious Pokemon egg received from Sinnoh. Also, yes, yeah, you can see what day I'm actually playing the game on. So, I, there is one other again. There is one other thing I want to show off. Since we had the because we had the lucky egg, I really want to show this thing off because if because all that pain, all that pain and suffering, all that pain and suffering trying to grind up and floor will be gone soon. Will be gone now. But anyway, first. Manaphy hatch from the egg. Would you like to name your newly hatched Manaphy? I am not going to give this thing a name, unlike what I did in the unlike what I did in the white two Nuzlocke. But yes, we can catch and we can we can have a Manaphy in our team right now. So Manaphy. Is a very very interesting Pokemon. It will always start with the moves Heart Swap, Tail Glow, Bubble, and Water Sport. It's level one moves because eggs have to level one. It and it is a very very good let Pokemon to have. If you needed a water if you needed a good water type, you can if you needed a good water type and you didn't pick up a Porygon or you didn't or you are regretting not or you're regretting not training up those starters earlier. This. Manaphy could be something very useful. It is level one though, but there is a way to fix that. And I will, and I am, and I am, and probably damned if I do, damned if I don't. I am going to show you what that, 
what you can, what that thing is that you can do. Uh, can I skip you? No, I can't. Okay. I'm just gonna speed through this fight, but while we're doing that, I'm gonna quickly go, I'm gonna explain more about Manaphy. So, man, so, Manaphy, again, starts with heart, start, we'll start with Heart Swap, Tail Glow, Bubble, and Water Sport. Not, not the worst moves at the star, not the worst moves at the star with. Not the worst moves at the star with by a long shot. As you can, it's got, it'll have hydration for its ability, as you can see here. Check moves. Check moves, as you can see, there, there is Heart Swap employ, employs its psychic power to switch stats with the, with the foe, which is a very interesting move indeed. And Tail Glow is always very good to have. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay, you do that. Do that, get Verde in here. Anyway, um, back to, back to me and Fee. It'll, its level up moves are not the best, but it'll get some interesting moves. It'll get Bubble Beam at 14, to take, it'll get Bubble Beam at 14, Acid Armor at 18, Water Pulse at 22, Whirlpool at 26, like you would ever want to use that move, Uproar at 30, Aqua Ring at 34, then Signal Beam, Dive, Rain Dance, and Hydra Pump, which is a brand new move for it at level 50. After that, it'll learn no new moves, but at that point, you don't, at that point, you should, but by the time you get to that point, you should have plenty of good move. You should have plenty of good moves on, plenty of good moves and TMs that you can teach this thing. So I wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, down goes the Flareon. But yeah, Manaphy is very, very good. Like seriously good. If you if, if you do not use this thing, then if, if you're if you're if you're worried about what this about not being able to train this thing, don't worry. You'll both. That's why I'm going to. That's where I'm going to try and. To, that's what I'm trying to show you. And damn it! All right. Anyway. Anyway, there we. Anyway, got to fight this trainer. But uh, yeah, Manaphy is good. Like seriously good. So if you need it, so if you wanted to train up a, if you wanted, to, so if you wanted something, if you're wondering where all the legendaries were, well, don't worry no more, cause there's the, this is the first one that you can have a, that you can actually catch in the game. So congratulations. Unless of course, you, unless of course you're me and you don't want to le use legendaries. That's right. I am not going to use this manaphy. I will not be using this manaphy during the main story. I want to be able to. I want to use normal Pokemon that everybody. I want to use normal Pokemon and just normal Pokemon through this. Whether the, whether they're pseudo legendaries or not is to be determined. But hey, I, I'm gonna at least try. I'm gonna avoid doing that. Anyway, item right here, Ether. That's not important. Also, here's the Honey Tree for 208. We also picked up Giga Drain. We also picked up Giga Drain as well. So if you had a grass, so if you had a grass type, who, if you had a grass type, there it is. A very good TM to have. All right, picking up these raspberries here as well. Uh, raspberries here and right here, a Stardust. Now, if you want to avoid that trainer, just go through the grass to avoid her. And there we go. Okay, avoid that. There we go. Now, once we enter Celeste on town. Hey, hey, Shamus! I got something cool. I'll show you, show you as a special favor. Huh? What the? What's this all about? I got some seals, but I forgot to put them on. Oh right, that's because that's the ruins. The ruins are cool. You have to check them out. I even found a hidden machine. It was defog. Even though I don't think there was a whole lot of reason to use it. Anyway, I'll battle you, battle you another time. See ya. So we don't have to fight Barry here. Yeah. Uh, if we go back south, I was wrong. This is Route. If we go back south, at Route 209. I'll go over the encounters for Route 209 after in the in the next episode and show fight and do a, a bunch of other things that we need to do there. But the main thing I wanted to show here, and the reason why I recommend you come here, the reason why I recommend you recommend you get here, and the reason why I wanted you to come here so badly. So badly enough that I wanted to extend this episode is you'll is something that is very very good that Drayano added. So if you come in here, you'll notice something di slightly different. There's a woman on the right over there, and there's a 
person over here on the left. Let's talk to this guy first. I've got to meet some sweet, juicy berries from the local field. They'll make your Pokemon happy. Oh yes, very happy. I'll sell you a whole batch for 5,000. Good choice, partner. Here you go. 15 of each juicy berry. We get the palm egg berry. The Kelsey berry. What the koala berry? The Hondu berry. The grappa berry. And the tom the tomato and the tomato berry. Every single one of these berries will lower EVs and will lower your e the your effort EVs or effort values in a specific stat. Very useful. They're, they're very useful. As you can see, Palm Egg does HP, Kelsey is attack, defense for Koala is defense, Hondu is special tech, special defense is Greppa, and special and speed is Tamayo. So if you if you want to EV train your Pokemon more effectively, you can do that. Speaking of EV training, this woman. Howdy trainer, what's your name? Seamus, huh? That's a proper tune name. Are you are you Pokemon need in need of training? In that case, I'm your gal. I'm trainee. That's me. The Pokemon here are if a po the po Pokemon are able to improve their stat if they battle a Pokemon that specializes in that stat. I've got teams of Pokemon that to help you with to help you with all of that. Oh, and experience too, if you just want to level up that is. You just talk to me if you need any help, free of charge. Oh I almost forgot, this is a starter pack for you. Bear with me. We get the power bracer. Power belt. Power lens. Power band. The power ankle and the power anklet. And the power weight. There, all done. Equip those items to your Pokemon to speed up training for a specific extent. And if you want to train, just come back here and chat to me. Yep. So if you really want to AV train your Pokemon specifically, you have the power bracer. To we have the power. Every all the power items will reduce your will reduce your speed stat, but it'll help with gaining EVs in that specific stat upon fighting a Pokemon. It only reduces your speed when where when in battle, not over not actual speed EVs. So power bracer for attack, power power bell for defense. Power lens for special attack, special defense for the power band. Speed. We have we have the power anklet for speed and the power wave for HP. And talking to Trini herself. Oh, oops. Talking to Trini herself. Once you talk to her, this menu will pop up. You can train. You can train any. You can do. If you talk to her, you'll find a specific train. Every single one of these teams will be three Pokemon. Will be three Pokemon. I'll have three Pokemon, and they'll be spe and they'll have two EV, and they'll have specialized, and they'll have EVs in that specific stat. So if you want an EV train, you can actually fight these Pokemon. You can actually fight these po fight these Pokemon over and over and over again, and get the EVs that you want for EV train. And since we're right next to the daycare, that make or since we're right next to the daycare, that makes it things even easier to do. So, I wanted to show off the experience thing. I, I'll quickly explain how she works in terms of doing the XP and how the in terms of how the XP thing works because th this is something specific that I didn't realize. So, so with so with the XP thing, if you pick XP, you'll find it. This, this is going straight from the notes in the documents file. Choosing the experience will pit you against a team of Chansey or Blissey at the chosen level. The Chansey and Blissey will all know in Healing Wish and hold a Toxic Orb. You'll, you gain access to higher levels of experience training as you progress. Level 35 is, be, is unlocked when you beat Maylene, 45 when you reach Celestic Town, 55 when you beat Candace, 65 after completing Victory Road, 75 after becoming the champion, and 85 and 85 after completing events at Stark Mountain. So th there, that is so that is how the XP thing works. So after you reach those specific things, I just those specific places I just mentioned, you'll unlock another level of training. And if you pick, and if you were to pick the any of the EV training, 
you'll get a you'll get a stat. It'll be it'll ask you whether you want to do low, medium, or high. If you pick low, it'll be a team of level 10 Pokemon that give one EV of each stat. Choosing medium will be will give you two, and choosing high will be three. E all the Pokemon, all the EV Pokemon will be a level 10. And if and if you pick, equip a power item, it'll double the amount of EVs you gain each from each Pokemon you knock out. So it'll it's actually very a very effective way to EV trade just to keep track. I mean, you also have the Poke Edge thing. You also have the Poke Edge app for, for the calculator. So it actually makes it really easy to calculate how many EVs you trained in each stat if you want. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, I just want to show off the XP thing here with Manaphy. So if you're worried about Manaphy being only level one, well, equip a lucky egg that we just got and go into this fight. Just like and just like it says, these things will all these things will all have all of these things will have healing wish. As you can see, it uses healing wish and it dies. 1,223 experience with the lucky egg equipped. And Manaphy's gonna gain a lot of levels off just the first one. Five, six, charm, not gonna learn that move. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, we have the XP share on. That's why I didn't get as much. I forgot I had that equipped. Anyway, we use Tail Glow. Anyway, we got Tail, tail Glow now. It's gonna use, this one's use, gonna use Heat Rush. We gain another 1,000 experience. Supersonic, not gonna learn that either. And Haunter will gain, gets to level 34 off of that. Muscle Orange Sludge Bomb. I will absolutely learn that. There we go. Chansey. Chansey again. And Toxic Orb. This one can't kill itself because it. No, wait, never mind. I'm wrong. Then, then, anyway, we get level 13 now. Alright, now we're at max of power and healing wish. So yeah, level 14, Bubble Beam now. We got Bubble Beam now. All right, and this Chansey can't kill it. And no, we sold one more. Level 15 now. It would have been even higher if I didn't have the XP short quit, but yeah. yeah. We, this is just ridiculous. You can gain a crap ton of experience at any time, look at that. We're level 16 from starting at level one. And we would have been even higher if I didn't have the XP share on. And you can do this for free, over and over and over again. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, so yeah, if you ever need to grind at any other point during the rest of the entire game, come back to Salazion Town and do this. So now if you so now if you wanted to use a specific Pokemon on your team, you can do that now without ever having to worry about grinding in the wild ever again. Hell, you don't hell if you want, you don't hell if you don't need money. You hell if you if you don't need money, you never need to fight you fight anybody with the versus seeker ever again. You can just come back here and just fight you can just come back here and just grind if you ever need to fight trainers for experience now. And never need to use a versus seeker again. But again, if you need, to, if you do need money for some reason, go fight the two social lights next to the Pokemon Mansion with the Versus Seeker and have the Amulet Coin or the Luck Incense equipped, so that way you can gain a lot of money that way. But anyways, with that, that is everything I wanted to show off here. We we have gone over we've gone over quite a bit, and there's we've gone over quite a bit. I'll explain. I'll, there's some things that we need to do in Route 209 that I'll explain. That I'll show off. At, that I'll show off in the next episode. But yeah, I've been recording for just over an hour now. I've been just go, this recording's been going on for just over an hour now. But yeah, we went over a lot of things. So I'm glad that you guys were able to bear with me and watch this entire video all the way through for those who made it. If you did, if you did make it all the way to the end, legitly, then. Then, then, com then comment comment below then comment below then comment below then comment below then comment below Saturn if you made it all the way to the end. Anyways, 
With that, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.